Here is an EcoBoost engine that we are going to set top dead center on. We always verify top dead center is correct uh, using the timing pin as well as with a dial indicator. So we'll drop the dial indicator down, line it up with a flat spot on the piston, and we will uh, move the crankshaft and find our top dead center and slowly but surely you'll see we'll set zero on this and then let's just verify this Okay, so we're verified at zero. Now we'll put the timing pin in and show you what this does. Pretty ingenious the way that Mazda and Ford do this. So we'll go up against their stop and it's at zero. It's perfect. Top dead center using the stop and using the dial indicator both uh, show the same thing. On our crankshafts, you'll also notice that this keyway is perfectly straight up and down. This is the same key that we use to locate the timing gear and the damper on all of our builds. We also sell those to the public as well. Um, another thing that you'll notice on this is that we're using the older style timing, belt, or timing chain tensioner. We prefer the cast iron timing chain tensioners to the uh, screw type aluminum that have superseded these. The earlier engines, at least up through 2017 or maybe even 2018, came with this style and then they switched over to an aluminum housing that has a little bit different uh, method of uh, the adjuster kind of screws out a little bit. and those are a little more susceptible to leakage when everything gets warm and grows. So we've found a slightly a best, better oil pressure with the cast iron tensioner.